Making progress on the overturned cargo ship in Glen County. This is some new video today of the capsized Golden Ray. Workers are preparing to slice the next section, the third cut of seven. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller walked to the Jekyll Island shoreline near the pier with the Altamaha River Keepers to see what debris has washed up so far. With about 44,000 gallons of petroleum products still aboard the Golden Ray, the Altamaha River Keepers are concerned with what potentially could leak out into the St. Simon Sound during the next cut, being so close to the engine room. Two sections down, six more to go. Well, the ship looks smaller. Yeah, it's definitely getting smaller, which is a good sight to see. We walk the shoreline with Sue Inman, the Altamaha River Keepers Coast Keeper. You'll see something like this. This is type of um, some type of foam or some type of fiberglass that is from the ship. Looking for what's in the waters and floating up in the estuaries. What have you found so far? So far we found uh, pretty much anything from a car, um, but it's mostly exterior parts. So bumpers, any type of fender, the foam that goes inside of your bumpers. From the sky, it's clear the ship is leaking petroleum. Back in December of 2019, divers removed more than 320,000 gallons of oil mixed with water off the ship. But tens of thousands of gallons still remain. It just really weighs on you, and you know it's going to go into the community and affect the environment. Inman says she works with the mitigation teams who monitor the beaches. We saw them out today. It's melted plastic. You can see it. Once Inman and finds debris or globs of oil, she reports it to the hotline. It's not only affecting the environment and wildlife, but also local industries. As far as the shrimping boats, that's a huge industry here. Are they being affected? They are catching uh, debris from the ship. A few of them have caught bumpers and some side panels. This is the stern that's been sitting here at Mary Ross Waterfront Park. It's an incredible tides that have been sitting in the water. And since both ends of the Golden Ray have been removed, Move. Now the big question will be, will those next six pieces of the ship be removed as a whole or will they fall into pieces? We'll keep you updated. Reporting from Brunswick, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.